Hey guys, I'm K.S. Rehan from Digicritics. This is my first ever video on YouTube and in this video, I'm going to share some amazing tips and tricks related to Android. Here I'm going to focus the Android tips and tricks that are there existing but are hidden, that are not known to you. Might be known, I'm sure not all the tips and tricks mentioned in, in the video are known to you. There must be one or two that are not known and for that purpose, you have to watch the video till the end. The first trick is hidden reading mode. Did you know that Google Chrome has a hidden reading mode feature? In this feature, you can read an article without any obstacles created by that particular page. And in this mode, uh, I mean in this feature, there won't be any adverts. To enable this mode, just follow the steps below. To enable this feature, you need to open Chrome and type Chrome Flags page, after which you will see an experimental menu. There, type reader mode triggering. As you enable this feature, the browser will be relaunched. But don't worry about it, the browser data is safe. Now when you open any page, you see an option at the bottom of the browser, show simplified view. Click on it and what you see is a simplified version of the page with no ads making you comfortable to read the article. The second trip is web control app. Do you know that you can control a few of your apps on Google Android phone with just your palm or just with your wave? Yes, you can do that. To do this, all you have to do is go to the Google Play Store and download the wave control app. After downloading this, install it. After installing, give the access to the apps in your phone for which you want to control them with just hand gestures. You just have to put your palm just on the top of the phone and wave your hand. You can use number of hand gestures for the apps. 95% of the time, these apps will work and apps will respond to the gesture. In this feature, in this video I mean, I'm using, I'm giving the access to YouTube, as you can see. The third trick is switch between Google Chrome tabs just by swapping with your thumb. Now on your Android phone, on the Google Chrome web browser, I'm sure there must be around too many tabs open and you forget to close it. In my phone right now, I have 30 tabs open and I don't know when I'm going, when I'm going to close it. Maybe when I reload, uh, maybe when I reset the phone. I don't know when. So when you want to access a particular tab, how do you do that? That's very tough. In this way, you can switch between the tabs just with a swipe of your thumb. All you have to do is place the thumb. You can switch the tabs just by placing your thumb on the address bar and swiping it. It is that simple. If you want to see many tabs at once, just place your thumb on the address bar and swipe down. You can see all the tabs open and you can select the tab that you want. Do not use this code unless you have it. Once you enter this code, the phone will reset after which the whole data is lost and this cannot be undone so think twice before implementing this. the fifth trick in this list is automatic call recorder we all have the curiosity to listen to our phone calls and listen to them later in previous models phones especially from the china models phones this feature was available by default but the smartphones that are being manufactured from the past few years this feature is disabled this feature is blocked from everywhere if you want to enable this feature in the present smartphone devices all you have to do is to root the phones entirely so that this feature can be enabled and you can listen to the calls but you don't have to do that actually you can just download the automatic call recorder app and give the access to it to record the phone calls Automatic call recorder is free, easy to use app which lets you to set up the voice recording on a device. Your manufacturer might have blocked call recording on a phone but automatic call recorder application has several options to work around these blocks. If you come across a song on the internet and you don't know its name or any other details, how do you find it? You have no idea about the artist, you have no idea about the song, you, have no, you don't know any other details but you remember the sound and you have, you have the sound on a device. Now you can find it. You can find it by this trick. There's a widget on uh, Google Android phones, but this is only available for Google Android Oreo update 8.0.1 OS. All you have to do is to enable this feature, go to the widget section on your smartphone and move Google Song Search application to the home screen. Now play the song on the app and wait till the app fetches the details for the song.
The home button in every Android phone is linked to the Google Assistant. However, not many know that you can have any app of your own choice by holding onto the home screen. You can repurpose the button by installing All Caps Premium application from your Google Play Store. When you install this and hold onto the home button, you can see applications of your own choice opening in store of the default Google Assistant. This is all for the video guys, but trust me, there is a lot of video content we have planned for the upcoming videos on gadgets. So I request you to please subscribe to our channel, The Technique, for the more exciting and upcoming videos. The content timetable is not yet finalized, but I'll make sure there are at least three videos published in a week. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.